Hello YouTubers, uh, my name is Lance and I'm here to go over of possible clogs in your Kenmore. So I have a Kenmore, sorry for the bad um, video here, series 500 and my unit was not drained fully so normally in the circumstances you'll see the the tub drain right there and then it's all the way in the back cannot get a, a good picture of checking first so that is usually the first thing that you want to check to make sure you don't have a clog there and if it's still not then here's something else that um, I discovered um, so first of all turn off your plug um, my plug is already removed this is my plug for extra lighting open up the unit and you'll see down there it has these type of uh, um, agitator. So the first thing you want to do is grab any type of screwdriver. Again, sorry, there's a little lip at right here. So if you just go on, I'm trying to do this with both hands, so sorry. Just pop that lip off. And that is the cap. I'll bring that up. So here's the, let's see if I can do it. Here's the cap. And right underneath of there, that's the little lip that you pop up and put it to a safe spot so we can reinstall it back. So the next thing that we want to do is try to grab, um, that is a 7 16th. Um, you can use a socket uh, wrench to grab that. Unfortunately, uh, my socket wrench is gone because my kids probably took it. But if you just take this wrench and physically put that unit on there and unscrew it. So you have to go uh, clockwise, uh, counter, sorry, counterclockwise to unscrew it. Now, some of these are real snug, snug and tight, so what I'm going to try to do is put this here. I'm going to try to do this one-handed, so I apologize. If you take this, put this on here, because again, it's pretty snug, and I'm just going to just leave it there, and take the hammer and really nudge it so i'm gonna try to put it this way so again i a little pre uh loose this so i apologize um so if it's on there take the hammer so it'll be on here like this oh, this is not good if you put it on there like this and just take the hammer and again i'm trying to do it as one-handed and just tap 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 it will un unloose and then you just unloosen it, just keep on loosening it, loosen it, and here's going to be the hard part. So when you have this bolt up, you want to remove all your items. And this is probably the most trickiest part of all. This is the trickiest, so I'm going to try to do this. So if you look at the whole unit, you have to pop this up and you do this by pulling the tub up and when you pull the tub up it will unloosen the agitator here and you might have to just wiggle it a little bit so again i might have to do this two-handed so let me do it this way just hang tight i'm going to put my ipod camera so if you just take your hands and just pop pop it should unloosen us. So again, drop the kit. Pop, pop. So again, take both of your hands, pop this up, and then just wiggle. You just want to just go oh, ahead. So again, you just want to just wiggle. As soon as when you wiggle it, again, this is really difficult doing it by one hand. So just wiggle it, boom, the unit came up. So here's the unit. Mine is a little bit dirty, apologize for that. So, here it is. You have, you take your pliers. So in here, you have all these different, see if I can get, I'll get a good light in here. So in here is your drain. So if you just take some pliers, some needle news, and pull out all that debris in there, in each one of those segments, you will um, hopefully make a more efficiency. What I found out, is you get change, quarters, nickels, dimes, all within that unit, and um, that's
that seems to be uh, my problem because they're all filled up and you couldn't drink. So hopefully you like this video. If you have any questions, um, just hit me up and uh, I'll be able to respond. Thank you and have a good day.